Hello friends and welcome to the cottage. <laughs> so I have a very, very interesting video for you guys today because I am looking for a new family for my beautiful Zara. Um, now Zara has been in my nursery for a month. I had to actually go back and look for her box opening video. She has been here for a month and she came all the way from a collector in Germany. And she's, she's actually very, very special, you guys. She's very special. She is a masterpiece doll. Um, her sculpt was created by uh, Monica Levenig. Um, and she was originally bought um, and, 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 and lived with her first mommy in Germany. Now, she is in absolute mint condition. Um, I'm her second mommy. And um, she is in absolute mint condition um, in every way. She um, comes with all of her... Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. She comes with all her originals, um, her stand, um, which is, you know, it's really nice to have. Mind you, I find that she, um, I find that she stands really well on her own. Um, but the stand is nice for posing and photography, um, definitely. Um, she is in her previous mommy's home, you know, home or collection. Um, she is the Casey sculpt and she had her as a boy um so this is her original um you know top that she came from the you know the creators um and she is a boy now for me I just don't see boy I just don't I just don't see boy with her oh she also comes with her original lovey <clears throat> which is a little teddy bear it's actually the teddy bear that is on her, her, her little, um, sorry. <coughs> My allergies are out of control today, you guys. Anyway, this is the bear, um, on her little, like, it's almost kind of like a little sailor, mo uh, smock top. Very sweet. I mean, it could definitely be unisex for sure. Um, and then she came in, uh, in these little cute little blue shorts <clears throat> with pockets on the back. Um, she came in all of that. And then she came with these little kind of faux, um, I don't know, I guess they're kind of meant to look like a tennis shoe of some type. So that is her originals. And I have looked her up on Worth Point and a few other websites um, just to ensure that she did come with her originals. And of course, this is her sippy cup. She absolutely loves the sippy cup. She will, of course, come with that. I bought that for her. Um, but since she has been here in at the country cottage, she has been a girl because that's what I see when I look at her. I just see girl. But, you know, you may look at her and, and see something different. But I'm going to change her today in a girl outfit. And if you make the decision to adopt her, um, I will send her in this outfit. It's a brand new, brand new Carter's outfit. Um, and yeah, you're, you know, I, I, I'm going to change her and I'm probably going to um, package her today. I have a box and I'm probably just going to go ahead and package her. She has... Um, like the way they paint these dolls is beautiful absolutely beautiful like and like the texture of her vinyl is yeah it's it's she's gorgeous you guys she is she is a gorgeous gorgeous doll um she there is only 750 of her and she is impossible to get a hold of impossible and I say this with experience because the first time I saw this sculpt was on Honeybee's channel. And I, when she received her Casey sculpt, and I was like, oh my gosh, 
I have got to have that doll. I have got to have that doll. Um, and, uh, you know, I mean, I looked every, I, I looked on, on eBay, everywhere you can think of, I looked. And um, I don't know. Uh, I just had no luck. And then one day I just happened to be scrolling on eBay looking for um, Masterpiece Dolls and she popped up and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening to me. Um, the only thing, of course, was that she was in Germany, <clears throat> which meant that she was very, very expensive, very, very expensive to ship here to my part of Canada. Um, you know, shipping to and from Europe is not like shipping from, um, you know, Canada or the U.S. Europe is a whole different thing. Um, so as you can see on the camera, she is a masterpiece doll. Um, and she has, um, here I'm going to take her shorts off. She has a, you know, a, a vinyl body plate that comes just below her breastbone. She has, you know, full movement of her arms. She actually even has armpits, which is kind of cool. Um, and then her cloth body goes to kind of mid thigh. Now, here is the reason why, in case you're wondering, why am I rehoming a doll that I've only had for a month when I was so desperate to find her? Well, here's the thing. Um, she is a standing doll. I mean, obviously she can lay down. I've done lots of cute photos with her, you know, laying on the bed, cuddling with my other babies. Um, you know, her head turns beautifully. Um, her legs, you know, her, her legs move just fine. But she is meant to be a standing doll. And I, I'm, I don't know, I, I'm actually working on a video right now, um, that I'm going to be sharing with you guys later this afternoon about, you know, cuddle, cuddle mummies, cu cuddle parents versus, um, cuddle mummies versus, uh, display mummies. This doll is far more, in my opinion, a display doll than a cuddle doll because masterpiece dolls as beautiful and realistic as they are they are a, you know they are a harder vinyl they're not a soft vinyl like reborns and the fact that she's a laying doll or standing doll um you know makes her not particularly cuddly so i'm going to be putting these cute little she's a big girl she's, she's she oh she's 36 inches long so she's a big girl. She's, you know, she is a, a, a she is the size of a regular three-year-old. So, yeah, she's the size of a regular three-year-old. She is on the, she is on the slim side. Um, this dress that I'm going to put on her is 24 months. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what I've been putting on her all along. It's been 24 months. Car this is Carter's. I have put some 2T on her um, as well, which has fit just fine. Um, but she is she is 36 inches long, so she is the height of a regular three-year-old. But she is slender. Um, you know, she's like a slender three-year-old. So she has absolutely stunning, extremely, extremely realistic uh, acrylic eyes. Like, they have depth. They are beautiful. Her acrylic eyes are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, girl. Where's your sleeve? She has a wig, a masterpiece wig, and I have, um, I have experienced masterpiece wigs in the past because I have had other masterpiece dolls. I have purchased masterpiece wigs to re-wig them and their wigs are, you know, in, in my opinion, probably the, the, the best made wigs, doll wigs ever, ever made. I like the Monique wigs, but they're, they're even better. Oh, this is going to be really cute on her, you guys. She is, if you are the type of, um, collector that loves to dress your dolls, display your dolls and photograph your dolls, 
oh my goodness gracious, she, you know, she is for you. I definitely am more of a cuddle mommy. I definitely enjoy um, picking my babies up and cuddling them. Oh, this is really cute on her. She has the most beautiful chocolate skin. Like I said, this is a very high quality wig. Um, she's got, you know, up bottom, she's got bottom, painted bottom lashes. She's got um, applied upper lashes. They're very realistic looking. Her painting, her eyebrows are exquisite. She's just a really exquisite girl, really exquisite. Um, and if you are the type of person that enjoys um, dressing and, you know, posing and photographing your dolls, oh my gosh, she's for you. And like I said, there is only 750 of these created in the world. She's from 2007. I do not have any paperwork for her. The previous owner um, misplaced it, but, you know, it's clearly she's an authentic because... Um, nobody reproduces this sculpt. Um, and, you know, she, she, her, her artist's name is on the back of her neck. And, um, yeah, you know, nobody, this, this is not a sculpt that's reproduced. She came from, you know, a very, uh, you know, a very uh, highly rated seller. And, um, you know, she came very clean and all, you know, she basically she had been the, the seller I purchased her from um, had a collection. Well, she actually had, they actually have a doll shop and she was on display in the doll shop. So, you know, she's not been around pets or odors of any kind. Um, you know, she was just brand new when I received her and I've changed her. Oh, I don't know. You know, two, I maybe changed her two or three times and, um, yeah, she's just, she's like brand new. So isn't that cute? Isn't that cute? And I am asking, going to ask a absolutely killer price for this doll because she is impossible to get a hold of as a matter of fact if you are a masterpiece doll um person aa sculpts masterpiece aa dolls are literally impossible to find like they are so so hard to find you guys um i don't know how many they made but they are literally impossible to find i mean they're, they're out there i guess but i mean i had to bring this one all the way from germany and, um, and she's beautiful. And I, 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 every time I walk into the nursery, I'm, you know, I'm always pleased to see her. Um, but you guys know how I am. You know, I like to keep my collection really small. And if I find that I'm not interacting with the doll, I rehome them. And I'm finding with her not being, you know, she's more of a, you know, a, a display doll, a fashion doll. Um, not so much cuddly doll and so I'm just not interacting with her and you know what she is my third masterpiece doll since I started collecting eight years ago and I've rehomed all of them because I desperately want them but then when I get them uh, you know the reality sets in that uh, that you know that they are primarily for display and photographing oh my gosh she's gorgeous she is gorgeous this sculpt is absolutely gorgeous as you can see. So she's going to come home in this outfit. Um, unless you're wanting her as a boy, then I can, you know, change her into her boy outfit. Um, you know, it's up to you. I, I, you, you guys know that I always, you know, I'm going to put a nice sachet in the box and, um, and make sure she's wrapped really well. She will be insured, of course. Um, and, um, and yeah, and I am asking only $500 for the stall, you guys, which is like crazy talk because, um, yeah, she goes for twice that in, um, you know, if you can even find the sculpt. So that is a little bit less than what I paid. Um, and then, of course, you know, there'll be shipping, but um, we can talk about shipping you know, what shipping will cost. I can, you know, find out her weight, contact my post office and where you're located and, um, and I'll find out exactly what shipping will cost. Um, so that, you know, you're, you're only paying what you need to, to get her home to you. 
So, because she is a big girl. And uh, I don't think shipping will be as um, costly to, well, I know it won't be, to the U.S. or Canada. Um, it is, you know, the, it's, the, you know, the European countries that um, makes, you know, make it so expensive. Anyway, I call her Zara, but, you know, her kid name is called Casey. And um, like I said, she's meant to be a boy. But for me here at the cottage, she has been a girl. But it's up to you. I can dress her, you know, however you like. Um, I can keep her in this outfit. It's a brand new, really cute Carter's outfit. Or I, of course, will send her um, going home outfit. You know, the one that sh that she was sent with the manufacturer. But, uh, yeah. So that's my adoption video for Zara. I will put her, um, I will put her cost in the comments. If you have any questions, you guys know you can always ask me in the comments or we can even move it over to email and chat there. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly happy to do payments with this girl if uh, that's what you're needing. Um, and uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll be back with another video soon. As always, take care.